They say when Mrs. Abby Shapiro's image was discovered years ago by the internet, a part of her essence separated from her body. The real Abby lives on. She grows and changes. But this image of recorded history exists frozen in time. Abby Shapiro, I want you to be an icon bigger than your brother with a beloved cult following. I want this for you. I have a couple of brand suggestions in order for you to accomplish this. If you follow my instructions, I will sacrifice something very dear to myself at the end of the video. Do we have a deal? Everybody who was not Abby, before you all pee your pants, let me make my stance clear. I'm not here to fix her, but I do want to speak to her in a sincere way. So if you're here for blood, then click away. But first, like, comment, and subscribe, and maybe become a patron? I find the obsession with the daughters and sisters of right-wing men both interesting and disturbing. It kind of reminds me of the Bowsette phenomenon. Let me explain. Bowsette is a fan-made, gender-bent, sexualized interpretation of Bowser, the villain from the Mario franchise. Bowsette is unique because she is completely fan-made and not recognized by the franchise, yet she persists and is repeatedly given new narratives by fans. What's even better is that the transformation is completely possible within the canon thanks to the Super Crown, which turns any character into a princess. I'm not going to go into the whole world of anthropomorphizing objects or animals and turning them into girlfriends, because I'm working on a separate video about that right now. Alas, we have to focus on the real-world Bowsettes for this video, okay? Maybe there's a part of us that craves an evil princess. Maybe we hope that she'll keep her hot meanness, but just be less evil. What is the feeling when your favorite villain, who has almost supernatural lore, has a hot female version of him? The discovery of Abby Shapiro by the horny left is kind of an example of this. We want her to be Bowsette and step on us so badly that we feel dissonance in our heart when she makes us watch right-wing propaganda first. I am currently cosplaying as the meme of Abby that went viral a couple of years ago where people discovered that Ben Shapiro had a hot sister. Listen, all of you sexualizing Abby. Stop it. She wants to be a modest lady. Sexualize me instead. Abby, I will be your shield. Abby, finally we have this time to ourselves. I think that you could tap into a huge niche just by talking about the things you already do, like conservative style clothing, the way you approach dating, and lifestyle tips, you're just talking to the wrong audience. Why don't you talk to people who are already kind of living this lifestyle, like Orthodox Jewish women or religious Muslim women? You can also talk to trans women and ask them what they feel about all of this. You can do interviews, that would be awesome. Not a bad idea. Talk about how Jewish Orthodox women wear shells underneath their clothes in order to cover their skin more fully, but how there's really cool ways to style that. I see you. I know what your vibe is. You're going for that wifey anime girl aesthetic where she's really innocent and pure, but low-key you can tell she's really hot, and it's even hotter that she's not revealing skin. I go for that look too. I call it sexy chaste. Okay. I am out of ways to stand in a poised way, so we're just gonna have to relax now, alright? Good guy. Have you ever seen Frozen 2? Do you remember that scene where Elsa had to run across the sea that was really icy to get to onto Holland? And she uses her ice powers to do it. And while she's doing that, she's wearing this beautiful fitted and athletic bodysuit. And it's just like, 
she's so strong and is really brave of her to do all of that and I bet people who need to wear more full coverage bathing suits or want to can watch that and be like yeah I'm wearing a full coverage bathing suit and I'm trying to tame my kelpie water horse Wow, I feel like cosplaying as your cursed meme is sucking out my life force. Double-edged sword, I have great power, but it really is taking a lot out of me. Double-edged sword. Do you know that trope where you can steal somebody else's body, like you can do a body switch? I kind of feel that right now, but sometimes when I'm watching those shows, I'm like, do something freaky, you have so much opportunity, but... I don't want to do that to you right now. I mean, I'm already doing enough, right? <coughs> Ew. I don't have much time. Let's keep gossiping. You gave an example in your modesty video where you said that women shouldn't dress sexy when they go to the park because there are husbands and children there, which I feel like is a very moralizing and finger-wagging thing to say. Even in adulthood, the park has always felt like a really holy place to me. I really like going on the swings. I feel like they're a roller coaster and it helps with my anxiety. But I never got the impression that there were clubbing girls who on the way to the club were stopping by parks and like sirening husbands. They're busy. Clubbing girls are in the lab altering their hypothalamus and body heat regulators and looking like hot deer jumping over snowbanks in the middle of a snowstorm, while us losers still have to wear a TNA jacket in the winter and are still cold. No, Abby, you cannot get your reward yet. You have to wait till the end of the video like everybody else. Just like you, I also have this huge fascination with beauty and modesty. That's why I made this video, it's not like most of my videos. I love the way that sexy chasteness can be found in such small little things that we wouldn't even notice, like in cartoons. You're gonna have to come up here for this explanation. There's this trope in animation called the Hartman Hips. It's used when an animator wants to draw extra attention to a character's body, but they need to skirt network TV regulations. Note that this is mostly for Western animation. So instead of giving a character an hourglass figure or a large breast, they drop the emphasis and make the waist extremely small and the hips wide. They don't really define the butt, but we can kind of just do this in our brains. I think you could talk about stuff like this, but not in a this is bad or this is good way, more in an observant way as somebody who is interested in beauty. I noticed that you use forever flowers in your sets, and that's a term I just learned that florists use to describe fake flowers. So cute. Anyways, I feel like you can make your own forever flower decorations, and they could be like kind of weird, and you could teach us how to do it. Just a suggestion. Since you are addressing men in some of your videos, it might be beneficial to actually give them tips on how to make people feel more safe in public and so that there isn't a need to feel like you always have to cover up. Have you ever worn gray leggings before? To me, they are the apex of sexy. I just think they define the butt in such a perfect way and show such great details. But I always wear a sweater over my waist when I'm on the subway because I don't want to be harassed. Abby, talk to these men's so that I can wear my conservative and tasteful gray leggings in peace. When will I get out of this cage? I think the whole liberals are like this and conservatives like this conversation that you have a lot on your channel is not particularly effective and acts to dehumanize people and polarize people and detract from what we actually might have in common. 
That's why I made this video and I'm kind of reaching out to you. So like, if I'm a ninja from the Hidden Leaf Village, and you're a ninja from the Sand Village, and we both hear bad things about each other, then how are we supposed to commiserate about how both of our villages insert tail beast demons into children in order to create essentially an atomic bomb for each of our villages, and basically military supremacy? Bet you didn't know that Abby was a weeb. No. I'm not giving that to her. She doesn't deserve that. You gotta earn being a weeb. Just kidding, I'm not gatekeeping, but like, I'm also not gonna humanize her in that way. I will humanize her in other ways though, but not in this way. Sorry, I've just been watching Naruto a lot lately and it's been on my mind. Abby, you know that phrase you use sometimes where you're like, liberals are controlling the media? That's sometimes used as a dog whistle to white supremacists where they fill in the blanks to socialists are controlling the media, Hollywood is controlling the media, lizard people are controlling the media, the Jewish people are controlling the media. Do you see how that works? Anyways, I'll throw in some sources about this down below, okay? If you want that engraved artifact that I made of you that's probably pretty cursed, I can send it to you, but if you're going to smash it, then at least do it on camera because it was very expensive to make. Anybody else who wants it, it's $500. Now, Abby, I promised you I would give you something in return if you listen to my advice. Here is my sacrifice. Oh, am I the sacrifice? Do they want... <laughs> that will not be necessary. No? Oh, okay. Shmoo the moth girl. Repeat after me. No, stand over here. Okay. Remember, repeat after me. On the way to the club, I will not hit on dads um, at the what's park. What's a club? It's where humans gather, consume alcohol, and dance without inhibition in hopes of copulation. But why would I go to such a place? My aphrodisiac dust powder is extremely potent in such close quarters. I would acquire much too many husbands. That's not the point. Abby, don't leave. Shmoo. I need you to promise you will cover up when you go to the park. Can you do that? How much nectar am I getting for this again? As much as you can eat in your nine months of life. A short but perfect existence. Will you wear this turtleneck and look at the camera, please? If a moth is not sending out aphrodisiac spores in order to mate, then you should not harass her in the park, even if her fluff is better than your wife's. This is the end of the video. I hope you liked it. Don't leave yet! The moth girl is coming back, I swear. I would just like to say that this is not a comprehensive introduction to Abby Shapiro's politics. There's so much that I didn't cover. Below I attached a video that I felt described her content and politics really well. Also, please do not go onto her YouTube and harass her or write mean comments. Abby, please, I know you're in there. People are People asking, are asking where been. you've been. They say they have heard I try trying to I'm right out here for you Just let, Just let me, me in We only each have other. each other It's just, Just you and me, and me. What, what are, are we gonna, gonna do? do? Do you, do you wanna, wanna build a snowman? It doesn't, it doesn't have, have to be a snowman Do you wanna, do you wanna snowman? build a snowman? It doesn't have to be it doesn't a snowman. Have to a snowman. Okay, bye.